Hey everyone, it's Mr. Dunkel again. In this section, we are going to play with the collage maker instead of the photo editor. So before we've been over on this tab on the left, photo editor. So what I'd like you to do is click on collage maker. And a collage is when you have a series of photos that you're going to bring in together and make into one. And you may have trouble seeing it, but you can tell there's a little grid pattern here with one large photo and three a smaller photo. So that's the default pattern. But if you want to change that, what you need to do is click this button right below it and you'll see different types of patterns you can choose. You can go into these folders below and they have even more. Like if we go into grids, you know, there's a whole bunch of different ones to choose from. Again, uh, avoid the ones with the stars because you have to have an upgraded account. So what I recommend that you do is you first find the pattern, the grid pattern that you want, and then go back up to your photos tab. And they already have some photos loaded for us to use. So let's just use those. But of course, in the future, you could add your own photos, you know, things that you've downloaded. But just uh, come and drag and drop these, um, you know, wherever you want them. And there we go. I've got my six. Now you can click on a photo just like before, and you can drag it a little bit, you know, if you want to move the picture around some. Um, so get them, you know, how that, how you like them. And then once you have your pictures, the way you like them, come down to this background tab. It's the third icon down. And there's a couple of really cool things here. Uh, first off spacing, you can drag this and notice you can create a, you know, as much space as you want between the photos. But the one I really like is this corner rounding because right now we just have, you know, rectangles, which is fine. You know, it looks good, but we can slide the corner rounding and it will kind of curve off the edges of our photos. And so that's kind of a really cool effect. Notice we have a white background. So if we were to save this now with the background, what we'd get is, you know, our picture would just be a big rectangle, you know, look like a normal photograph. If we don't want the white, we can click on this and just choose whatever color we might want there. But what I really like about the collage maker that I really want to point out to you is this transparent background box, because this is a really cool feature. Because one of the frustrating things uh, when you're getting images from Google, for instance, is you find a really cool image that you like, and then you bring it into PowerPoint and you paste it. Let's say it's an image of, say, a football. Uh, you know, bring it into PowerPoint and it has a big white background all around the football. And you really don't want that background. You just wish it was transparent that you could see through to the background. Well, this kind of allows you to do that with the collage maker. So you click on transparent background and notice what it did was it took off all of that border that was going around the pictures. So now you can see through. And so if I were to save this, and I'll show you how to do that in another tutorial, but if you save it the proper way as a ping file, a PNG file, then what you'll be able to do is place this image on top of anything else, and you'll be able to see through to the background of that. So just like Photo Editor, over here on the left, you have a few more little features you can play around with. Um, these are kind of some different, you know, retro type things and polka dots and such. You have a text editor still. So again, you can kind of click and drag your text wherever you want it. And if you don't want it, you just hit delete. And then you have the goodies button at the bottom. So if you decide you want to, you know, add a little extra thing. Uh, <clears throat> so you have an opacity slider, which I don't think we talked about before. Opacity, notice when I drag it to the left, it makes it to where you can see through. So uh, zero opacity basically makes it invisible. 100% makes it you know very crisp. So sometimes you can play around with the opacity a little bit. Now it kind of looks a little bit like it was something even maybe just drawn on the brick or shadow on the brick. So some things to play around with there. And notice that you have many, many uh, different categories that you can go into. So the collage maker is very helpful, again, if you're going to be working with several um, pictures that you want of a same theme. You know, for instance, if you're doing Civil War battle pictures or things like that, you want to put in five or six pictures or more. So just keep that in mind. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to save and make sure you watch that because there is a special step you have to take if you want to maintain these transparent areas. So that's all there is for this one. Go ahead and proceed to the next.